Good morning. This is Craig the Butterfly Man. If you're interested in finding out about me, just Google Craig, C-R-A-I-G, the Butterfly Man. Okay, so this is Chip Taylor, the director of Monarch Watch. This is his January 27, 2015 blog post. After the numbers came in for the overwintering population, in the biosphere in Mexico and as you'll notice the numbers have increased which turn out to be about 70 percent from the 1314 numbers to the 1415 numbers at the overwintering at the overwintering sites there's there's approximately 55 million uh, in January uh, there of 2015 there's about 35 million in January of 2014. This is a 70% increase on the monarch population in Mexico, which is basically the only way the only way we have to uh, estimate the population of monarch butterflies. And I'm going to demonstrate to you as Chip agrees if you'll read his blog post that this is mostly about weather. It's mostly always been about weather since we've been keeping records for the last 20 years. Uh, the glyphosate thing, the crops that have used pest, the, the, the acres that have used pesticides for the last 20 years remain the same. Uh, the concentration of pesticides used, which of course won't affect the amount of milkweed throughout the country because you know it's like a it's like getting shot you know you get shot once in the head you're just as dead as if you get shot ten times so what I'm basically saying is is that that it only takes so much glyphosate to kill milkweed as opposed to super weeds okay so I'm gonna go over this real quick so this isn't very long or very boring I'm just going to, to I'm just going to uh, show you the facts Get it done, and, and and then you can go look up the stuff yourself, or you can go onto my uh, YouTube page and watch this thing again. I've got Craig the Butterfly Man. I have my own uh, YouTube channel, and you can look at this. And of course, I have Facebook. Like I said, just just Google Craig the Butterfly Man. The whole first page on links is pretty much my stuff. Um, okay, let's go next to. The pesticide map. Okay, here's here's the pesticide map of one kind that kind of demonstrates to you the use of pesticides. And in the very light green, you'll see the the difference in the acres here and the and and and, and, and what's shaded. And I want you to keep keep that in mind. The shaded acres because they're the shaded acres in '97 are about the same shaded acres that we have in 2014. There's been a few acres added per maybe 500 acres that have increased the production acres of uh, uh, crops throughout the country, but as a percentage, not very much. And so it, as a percentage, that really doesn't affect the monarch population. Because since we're talking about monarchs here today, let's talk about the monarch population and how glyphosate affects the monarch population, which is, of course, directly related to how it affects the milkweed population. So after I've seen that, let's move on to another chart here. Joe, help you. This is the this is the rainfall temperature chart that there's been a lot made of uh, recently. Uh, the Texas drought is the biggest contributing factor to the decline of the monarch populations in Mexico since 2009. We've had the worst drought in recorded history of the state of Texas that started in 09 and finished in probably 2013 during the season of 2013 started finishing up and in 2014 the milkweed in the state of Texas started recovering significantly which is why the numbers at the overwintering sites uh, in January of 2015 increased 70 percent now of course this milkweed is going to continue, continue 
to recover throughout 2015. So each milkweed plant that's already out there is going to produce more leaves, feed more larvae, produce more butterflies. So there will be more butterflies at the overwintering sites in January of 2016 than there were in uh, January 2015. And I predict that we're going to have well over 100 million butterflies at the overwintering sites in 2016 because of the recovery of milkweed. Now, in order, if it was about planting milkweed, it would require between somewhere between 50 and 75 million plants, and I'm talking mature plants. There would have to be between 50 and 75 million mature milkweed planted throughout the range of the monarch butterfly to increase the overwintering butterflies by that much when the numbers are brought in in 2016. There's not going to be 50 to 75 million mature milkweeds planted this season, the season of 2015. The only way that those overwintering numbers are going to go up between 40 and 50 million by January of 2016 is that the milkweed that's already in the ground throughout the monarch's range continues to recover. And if you know about plants like I know about plants, I've been growing them for a long time. I actually own a nursery that these, when the plants come out of the ground starting next month, they're going to be having more stalks and more leaves, and they're going to feed those more larvae, which will, of course, produce more butterflies. And, of course, Chip knows that Texas is the pivotal state in the monarch numbers uh, uh, in Mexico every January once they're, they're counted. So I, let's move on into this a little bit more. I'm going to demonstrate something else to you that, that'll help you to, to, to understand kind of what's going on. The, the, the reason I showed you this graph is so that you, when you look at this graph, and you'll find this on my site, and you can look at it better yourself when you get ready, but this little, this little thing up here is the 2011 drought. Okay, and the farther you get into the upper left-hand corner of this graph is the worst conditions. It's the higher temperature with no rain. And if you'll notice, 2011 is completely removed from all these other years that you see in here as far as temperature and lack of rain. It's the worst in recorded history. 2011 was the worst year in recorded history for high temperatures and low rainfall, which basically devastated the native milkweeds throughout the state of Texas. And, 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 and even the tap roots died down an inch or two below the surface during this drought. There's never been anything that's happened like this before. And of course, this is going to be reflected in the numbers at the overwintering sites, as well as the increase in 2015, that's, that can be attributed to the recovery of those same milkweeds in 2014. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but it's very important that you understand that particular part of this thing. Now, there's some things here, that, there's some things here that's going on that I want you to be aware of that you know a lot of people aren't going to tell you because you you're not really hearing much about this 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 uh native milkweed recovery in the state of texas anyway that it's the existing plants that are actually causing the increase and that's what caused the 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 70 percent increase last year the petition filed and accepted by Fish and Wildlife, and it was accepted in December of 2014, before these 2015 numbers were in. I don't know whether they knew it, but they should have waited until the 2015 numbers were in before they started considering the monarch to be listed as threatened or endangered. Uh, now, there's a procedure that has to be followed here 
with the, the, the listing procedure, and that is that there should be a 12-month period in which they're reviewing to, to, to decide if they're going to list this as threatened. Now, they're, 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 they may circumvent this procedure. I'm waiting to see because it's early. But if they'll wait until after the 2016 numbers are in, they're going to find that the monarch numbers in Mexico continue to rise significantly. And like I said before, we're not, I don't care how many people get involved in this, they're not going to be able to plant enough milkweed during the 2015 season to have the numbers overwintering in Mexico rise to the numbers that I'm predicting they'll be. And this is a lot of what I'm saying is going to hinge on the prediction I'm making. And, and Chip knows this. You go back to Chip's blog page. He believes that the numbers are going to continue and will increase this year. But it's going to be a weather thing. It's not going to be about planting milkweed. It's going to be a weather thing. I'm going to cut this short. I'm not going to keep going into this, but I've got a lot more information for you, and I can help you out, let you know, and, and, and I want to further promote this. I want you to, uh, I'm asking you that you get this video out to everybody you know that's interested in uh, monarch butterflies and, and the recovery of and, 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 the beauty of the monarch butterflies. We don't really want this butterfly listed as threatened or endangered because it's not. The monarch butterfly is going to be fine. There's plenty of butterflies. The migration's not in danger. There's this is this. There's a lot of reasons that the the the, the monarch butterfly is trying to be listed as threatened or endangered by people with very a lot of different motives. And I, I, I'm hoping you that are watching this will consider listening to somebody like Chip Taylor and myself that's been involved in this for a long time. And Chip has no ulterior motives and neither do I. I just want to see the butterfly flourish. And, 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 and I want everybody to be able to enjoy the butterfly. I don't want the restrictions put on the butterfly that listing it as a threatened or endangered uh, species would involve. I'm going to I'm going to quit doing this right now because it's already 12 13 minutes long and it doesn't really need to be any longer. I, I I just want you to understand that that that's why I put this video out today. Thank you very much. Craig the butterfly man, like I said, just google me, like my Facebook page and I'll keep you informed. I have no ulterior motives. I and 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 I'd like to have you get the facts. Thank you very much.